Hello everyone. Martin Sandre here with another update on my experiment with painting the back ranks first. I know it's been what three or four weeks since the last video, and I told you I paint slow. That being said, I haven't actually managed to get any painting in in the last week, so I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while now, and I just got a good opportunity today. Uh, hopefully, this is well, it's the same position. Hopefully, similar lighting to last time. Uh, and as you can see there are significantly more figures painted now on the back ranks. There's uh, some good points and some bad points. So hopefully now it's a little more obvious that I was going for a, a colour scheme, a limited palette colour scheme. You know, metals are metal colours, skin is, you know, because they're all from roughly the same place they're going to have a similar skin tones on the whole. You know, not identical, but similar. Um, there's about three, three or four finished on the back row, and on the front row, I'll just turn them around here. I've started, you know, I've, I've been blocking in metal colours, because, to be fair, the front row's got a lot of metal on it once the metal's done. Well, the back row had a lot of metal on it as well, okay, you know, but essentially, once the metal's done, I can, uh, you know, faces, metal, then I can do hands. The reason I'm doing the hands after the arms is that there are plates on the back of the hands and on the wrists where paint could get on the hands easily. Uh, so I do the hands after the arms. Now, there was an unfortunate incident a few nights ago where this standard bearer decided to get knocked off the t a table and nose dived into my painting water <laughs> and if I just uh, grab an old paintbrush I actually got about that far in you know, that was all water below the line was dry pulled her out dried her off no lasting damage seems to have been done I don't think I need to repaint anything um, Okay, points of interest then, because there, there are a few, and of course the camera is, uh, uh, well, let's start with painful stuff. This hair is really frustrating, okay, um, I tried, it didn't come out anywhere near the colour I wanted, and then there's this great big splodge of brown ink which got on there accidentally somehow as well which I'm not happy about um, what I'll probably do I moved the camera here for a reason, I know it was a bit of a sudden motion what I'll probably do is patch it up at the same time I do this woman's hair because she's going to have a similar hair colour I say similar because I wanted them both to have the same colour but this one just came out like peroxide princess of death who must be killed with a plastic bag wrapped around her neck and choked to death until she stops being a chav you know that's chavs for you um, let's see this figure looks almost finished I could almost do the base but her hand is still that bestial brown oh god what are they called bestial brown these days whatever the new name is for the replacement paint uh, so yeah, when her hand's done, she'll be ready to be based. Oh, and the the flesh at the top of the furs on her back as well. We're going to need a bit of a patch up. And I'm, actually, I, I don't believe I've highlighted that hammer handle. Now onto the front again. This figure on the front left is going to be a major pain because she doesn't have very much armour. Now, interestingly enough, it's one of uh, it's one of Cyber's older female dwarven sculpts. All all he's done is put some put some leg plates and foot on her, just so she has a bit of armour and almost fits in with the unit, and re-sculpt the weapon. Apart from that, it's one of the older sculpts. 
which you know what it fits in with the unit just about um, I'm going to give her a leather bodice, skirt will be similar to the reds but present on the others the drummer is a lot closer to being finished yeah you see that dark brown that's going to be light brown um, I'm going to build it up, uh, she's going to have dark, well, dark grey hair and then over right here we'll have dark brown this one of course got a helmet no visible hair at all I'll continue working on the bases the hammers, I'm not very happy about the hammers because they're sculpted as if they're stone but the metal metal caps on the hafts go into them with no no visible um, dent or crease where they meet the stone they just flow into it which is rather odd because that doesn't look like metal work at all anyway I, when I was highlighting the the stone weapon heads I apparently managed to stick my left thumb right in the way there that's great isn't it but yeah got a few bits of highlight in a few runes might have to touch her up which is a shame because I had to mix the base coat for that also this little girl on the back here she does not rank up well okay when assembling a unit in future it might be worth cramming her on a right flank so her weapon can stick out quite a way because basically what it does when I rank her up is it pushes this one out okay so it's not good so I have to cheat it a little there with the angle just push and wiggle obviously these base positions are not final but the rank positions pretty much are um, as for the standard, some of you may have been wondering what I'm going to do with the standard, what colours it's going to be. Uh, pretty similar to the cloaks actually. It's going to be dark red on the front uh, with the edge, the borders, oh, the borders and the back of the banner being a more orangey bright red as well as all the details on the banner which will be in a light colour as well so the dark on the front will be a contrast like a pool for all of the details to stand out on so in the meantime I might even get some painting into there actually in the meantime fix that bloody hair get these girls sorted get them ready to play and so while there's only four done on the back rank it's you know it's practically five the ones on the front rank are all partially done and getting closer to completion so you know things are working and plodding along slowly it's okay it's nice all right well yeah that's it for now this is Balgin Stondrig signing out and I'll see you all next time bye bye